Well, hello everyone, Tim Stack here from the Utah Education Network and I want to just share uh, quickly another uh, great tool for classroom use, whether you're, you have a iPad, uh, mo any mobile device that has an internet connection, or you're working in a computer lab. Uh, so this website is called todaysmeet.com um, and it's a quick, simple way to set up what um, people often refer to as a back channel or a way to uh, get communication going within <clears throat> a presentation, within a classroom. Um, basically it creates a chat room and it's a chat room that nobody has to sign into. No, There's no passwords, no usernames. So you can see I'm on the main page here. There's not even anywhere to sign up for, a, uh, for an account. Okay, And these chat rooms that we set up are these rooms that you can set up really quickly here. Um, you get to decide how long they last. So if I just needed one to, for today and I wanted my students to answer some questions or to participate uh, in this room, uh, I can set it up for two hours and after that it just disappears. They can't get in there later and chat. I don't have to worry uh, as much about privacy. So I'm going to just do that really quick. So I'm going to create a room here just so you can see how easy it is. So maybe this is for uh, Mr. Stacks. Um, how about I'll just do Mr. Stacks fifth because maybe it's my fifth period. And you can see, let um, me get rid of the keyboard here. So I named it Mr. Tax 5. It gave me, it created a URL underneath with a green check, which means nobody else is using that. And I can say I want this to exist for just two hours. Okay, so I just need it today, and I'm going to create the room. Okay, so the URL, which you can see up at the top now, let me go up there. There it is, todaysme.com forward slash Mr. Stack uh, 5 in this case. And the room's ready to go. So I can just send that URL out to my students. And when they get to that website, they type in their name, and then it's now um, they can ta they can answer a question or respond to a prompt, and they can even respond to each other. It's not a threaded discussion, so if I start, um, so I could um, start writing, press that say button, and you can see it comes in, says who it's from, what time, um, and it came uh, via the website. <coughs> Now, um, the ways to use this, right? Uh, hopefully you're thinking about ways to, uh, to, to have students interact here or just give students a way to participate or to communicate, um, sometimes maybe in a little bit non-threatening way. So you could ask, this is, you could have this set up so during class if somebody has a question, this is where they could type the question um, and you could be monitoring it and it's not necessarily showing up on the board. So it's just a, sort of a way for students to message you basically during class. Um, and you could be looking at that as you went and you could be asking questions like, oh, what do you think about this? Or are, do you guys understand? If you understand, um, let me know in the today's meet room. Uh, and the students could be participating back to you and communicating back to you. Of course, the students, um, they will see each other's response. Okay, so it's not like you're going to keep it secret if you're using this. Um, students will see each other's response. So um, that there are some issues there, of course. If they have names, their name in here, or if they, you know, put somebody else's name and say something inappropriate during class, all of those things are um, things to plan for and be aware of with a tool like this. But <clears throat> an interesting uh, website nonetheless. Now, just like yoga.com, this is a website. It's not an app. It doesn't matter which kind of device you use to access this website. As long as you can access it, you could participate. So if your district is thinking of a bring your own device um, policy, this might be a tool you could use if you had a computer lab. It, this, you could use this if you had a couple of uh, mobile devices like an iPad or iPad touches this is a tool that you could indeed use. Okay, so um, take a look at it, see if you can uh, use it in any way. All right, that is it. Thanks for listening.